oh my god guys guess what i have this new kiwi as earphone and the thing is i really want to unbox it but i have to take a shit so let's go let me take a shit and unbox it at the same time we are going to the toilet to take a shit and unbox it okay go away i'm gonna unbox it go away bye Hello everyone, it's almost the end of the year again so it's time to relax and have a few drinks and also talk about earphones. So Kiwi Ears recently just dropped a brand new earphone, the Forteza. I was so excited about it that I started unboxing it in the toilet today. I mean, you have to get your priorities straight, either to use the toilet or unbox earphones in the toilet. Of course, I suck that unboxing the earphones. For Taser in particular, it's quite an exciting one from Kiwi Ears as it features quite a unique driver configuration that premiered on it. So basically, it has two dynamic drivers and a balanced armature for the top end. This isn't something that we have seen in the Chai Fi realm, and I really applaud them for trying something new. Also, I'm conducting a giveaway for a final A4000, so do check the link out below to participate. Anyway, starting off with an unboxing, really keeping things consistent, it is essentially another Kiwi Ears unboxing experience. So they have their Zespri Lite logo on the top with the earphones themselves in the center of the box with the name of the earphones read out loud for Ritza. Yeah, for Taser, right? Anyways, taking the cover off reviews, the Kiwi Ears brand, tossing the box aside, you then see the IM sitting there. We will talk about them in a bit, but below that would be the hard case that is provided as well. Inside the hard case would be the cable of the earphones together with three sets of ear tips. Great for people who constantly lose their ear tips. Also, the hard case is of really good quality. Trust me, I abuse them. Quite a basic experience, but I'm not complaining because these are like 55 bucks. Build quality, the Forteza is another custom universal shape IEM that is really all the rage these days. Mine is in the aqua blue color and it's really quite nice, might I add. The Forteza is quite a kinky one as you can literally see through it and you can see all the intricate bits and bobs inside. You get a really clear view of the drivers used. Inside the Forteza are two dynamic drivers, one of which is a 10mm base driver while the other is a 6mm mid-range driver. They are kind of placed together like a hamburger with the sound port to the side. Also paired with it is a single balance armature for treble as well. So this isn't a common driver configuration and I'm quite surprised Price that Kiwi Ears attempted this, though DD is plus one BA. In theory, would be a great driver mix, and we shall talk about it more when it comes to sound. The face plate of the Forteza has glitter on it, and it reminds me of the time where I used to like to use glitter in all my artwork in primary school because I just like glitter, and really quite pretty, might I add. It also comes in a two pin termination, which is great for folks who just wants to cable roll. Lastly, I won't really dare to sit on these as they are plastic, they should really hold up to abuse well, just that I doubt that sitting on them will make them survive. There are three sets of ear tips included, two of them are of the smaller ball variety and one of them is the larger ball. They are alright, I will still sort them out but they are alright. Next, let's talk about sound. As usual, I've included a graph for you to take a look at. There is one thing however that I need to bring up as the graph cannot really tell you this. The Forteza is a very dynamic sounding earphone. That is to say that you get a really huge difference between the softer passages of music from the louder ones. And because of that, it really makes them quite exciting to listen to. So apart from that, you get a natural warm presentation which is currently very popular but with a twist. The upper mids treble of the Forteza has a peak at about 8k hertz which is quite a bit more than the 3k hertz. So for those of you who are particularly sensitive to high frequencies, I would suggest using a smaller ball ear tip such as the final type ear tips with the Forteza to cut down these frequencies by a hair. Also, I did notice that they do get a bit better with some run-in, so just leave them playing music for about a day and they do sound a little bit smoother. For those of you who don't believe in that, just do your own thing. Bass. Bass is actually really beautiful on the Forteza. I just find that the bass delivered by dynamic drivers to be very beautiful when done right and it is done so in the Forteza. So what was surprising to me was the level of dynamics and how responsive the bass here is. It is taught with very good levels of bounce. So these are certainly not bass head IENs but they have good quantity for the overall soundscape. 
Sub bass extension is deep with good levels of resonance and bounce and you do feel it when the beat drops. Mid bass on the other hand is very full sounding and again gives a very good kick. I really like the 10mm dynamic driver here that gives such tonal colour. On the whole, bass is tight yet balanced with very good levels of resonance. Resolution is also good for its asking price. Mid-range, the overall tone of the Forteza is natural, leaning, warm. On a scale of 1 being neutral and 10 being warm, the Forteza gets a 6 on this scale. There is a bit of an upper mids focus on the Forteza as well with added shimmer as mentioned earlier. Female vocals are very focused with a very nice shimmer to them that for some people can be a little bit spicy. The presentation is rather different from the Harmon clones in the market and really makes the Forteza quite a unique one. Male vocals have a true to life rendition of vocals. Usually for such a DNA, you get a thinner sort of male vocals. But I found that tonal weight for male vocals here is actually quite good and pretty full sounding. Instruments are also very well defined as well with very good levels of clarity. And I really like how it sparkles. Trouble, trouble on the Forteza is quite prominent, making things very crisp and clear. This can be a little bit much for folks who are not used to this type of presentation and can be a little bit much for those who tend to favour warm signatures. Symbols and crashes have a very good level of detail and sizzle. It is also particularly airy for its price range as well. Trouble here really helps with the instrument and vocal definition in the mid-range and bass. So next, let's talk about Soundstage. When it comes to width and height, the Forteza has quite an impressive presentation. Soundstage, when it comes to width and height, the Forteza has quite an impressive presentation. Both are rather large for its price class that is supported by its signature. Depth and positioning. Again, it has very good levels of depth presentation. You can tell if the instruments are in front or behind. Also to add, the level of positioning is also stellar as the instruments have a very good defined making positioning quite pinpoint. And next, let's do some comparison. So firstly versus the Z-Gut Sino. So I haven't done the full review on the Sino from Zigab, but comparing it to the Forteza, you can say that it is actually 180 degrees opposite. The Sino is less dynamic and has a sweeter mid-range with less pronounced highs. It will be great for folks who enjoy listening to acoustic music and vocals, while the Forteza is a more aggressive and more dynamic sounding earphone versus the SimGod EA500. The SimGod EA500 is another iron that has a similar-ish presentation to the Forteza, but I found that the EA500 to be a little bit smoother on the top end, while the Forteza has a bit more sparkle. Both are natural warm irons that pack good levels of resolution and details. The EA500 is a bit more cohesive sounding though. And lastly versus the Tangzu Dufu. I say Tufu because that's its real name, not Fudu. Fudu is like anglicized, it's just weird. So the Tangzu Tufu is another iron that is quite similar, but I feel that it loses out in terms of technicalities by comparison. The Forteza is just more coherent sounding as well. The Tufu does not out-resolve the Forteza. Important thing to note is that there is a bit more sizzle on the Forteza compared to the Tufu. And finally, in conclusion, I actually really enjoyed the Forteza. It's quite an interesting earphone based on the driver configuration and has a very dynamic sound. But it can come across as a little bit bright, so do try them with narrow bore ear tips when you use them to tame it down a little bit. I applaud Kiwi ears for trying out something different rather than the same old harmonious clone tunings. And Oh yes, I have a giveaway that ends on 1st January, so I'll be giving away a final A4000 to you good people out there who have been supporting the channel. Info is in the link below to join. And with that said, thank you guys for watching this week's episode of the Super Chomp Super Audio Show where I talk about some super cool stuff and some super cool things. Um, yeah, it's the end of the year, so happy holidays guys. Have a good one. I'll see you guys soon.